welcome to today's video. Hope y'all having a good weekend. Um, so we're just gonna kind of, I keep I'm rubbing you with yeah, my belly. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> we're gonna kind of intro this video. Um, before we show you guys the footage from this week and what we've done for the house plans, um, he's gonna explain what's going on because I am still somewhat unclear. I mean, I, I understand what we're doing, but I can't explain it. So he's gonna kind of tell us what you guys are gonna see in this video. So if you've never seen this process before, you'll you'll be up to speed with it. Okay, go. Cool, so um, I had, you know, of course my business partner, Eric, uh, he came by, we went shopping together, you know, just a whole guy's day out. Uh, she was there too. <laughs> uh, but we just went to Lowe's, got a few items that we needed to actually start with the benchmarking and then also Batterboard. So benchmarking, batterboard. Uh, we talked about rebar for the cement uh, coming up. Uh, so I'm actually uh, making those uh, those forms as well. Um, and then beyond that, basically just cleaning up the holes. So we came here, judged all of my my digging uh, experience, said that it needs to be deeper. No, it needs to go all the way down to bedrock. So I went through. I got one of those. Uh, apparently, everyone in Texas has one. It's like this big giant bar that you just slam into the ground. It cuts uh, the the hole a little bit uh, cleaner on the sides, and then also allows you to break up a lot of that uh, that rock that easily that that composite rock that breaks up easily. So, got us down to bedrock. Eric showed me how to put the rebar together into squares, and then also how to do the 90 degree angles that come up where the uh, sauna tube is. So the next steps are, I cleaned up the holes, uh, we are starting to put up the batter boards, uh, we already did the benchmarking, which uh, I think we have some footage of him doing that where he got his, uh, sort of like a laser level. That I didn't know what y'all were doing. Yeah. He just stood there with a stick, <laughs> and then Eric stood back yeah. there with what looked like a tiny camera, and then just set a number, and then he moved to another hole. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so what it does is it shows you the, the level, like so from ground to uh, wherever. It shows you basically the distance, um, so it allows you to be make everything level later on. And so that's where the batter boards come into play. You put batter boards on all of the corners, and then you can actually raise up what the are stream. So uh, and you'll you'll see that too. Yeah. It's the the wood that we cut into spears and stuck into the ground. So what that does is it allows us to actually put a string on there. We can raise like lower and raise the string, and then also move it side to side until we have all the strings connecting. You know, they just kind of move around until there's a point right there in the middle, and then that's the very corner. So yeah, this would be the very corner right there, and then, uh, so that would actually tell us where to put those sauna tubes. Uh, so obviously the corners uh, go right over our, the holes that I've already dug, but the holes are very broad. Uh, what we need is to know exactly where we're going to put those sauna tubes that are actually the footings. So yeah, um, that's the whole next part of the process, so just getting everything prepared so we can start pouring concrete this next week. Uh, so yeah, I created or I, I built all the uh, rebar uh, for inside the holes. Uh, well, almost all of it. I, I need a little more. Uh, but we also did all of the uh, batter board, uh, kind of setting that up. Uh, or, or I guess right now I'm about halfway done, but I'll be done by today hopefully. Um, and then uh, cleaned up all the holes all the way down to bedrock. And so we're ba basically ready to go. Eric's gonna come by this next week, check it all out, make sure it looks good, and then we're gonna start pouring concrete for the footings. Uh, so what we do is we pour the concrete all the way about till three to four inches below uh, the undisturbed soil. So in other words, where the ground is, it's gonna be like three to four inches below. And then uh, we will actually put the solder tubes in with those 90 degree angle rebar that, that's still sticking out. So there's rebar all in, there's a lot that goes into just a <laughs> footing, right? Because uh, this is our foundation, this is what holds up the house. Uh, so there's rebar that holds the concrete in, uh, kind of pulls it in tighter, because uh, what, what your weight wants to do is disperse. And so you, that's what concrete is. It's very confined, has rebar within that. And then you also have rebar that goes from the very base of that all the way up through the middle, out the top. And that's where you put the sauna tube and then you pour some concrete into that, that big tube. And that's your footing. That's the part that's exposed out of the ground. So uh, it's basically a two-step process for the concrete pouring. We pour up, uh, let that cure for a little bit, and then pour the next uh, portion right after that. At least that's how we're gonna do it. So, yep, that's what you should be seeing in the next week or so. All right, so you guys are gonna see just some of the footage from this week from what we've been doing, what he's been doing there. And then, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully things will start to move a little bit faster as we go. Yeah, I mean, you as soon as the foundation's just, there, we just start throwing things on top of it. We need to go um, look at the containers and then have those delivered, which yeah. is gonna be a huge ordeal. But I think that once we finally get that done, then it's all gonna feel more mm. real like, like something's actually happening. Cause I know there's yeah. a lot of background work that's going into it right now, all the planning and pricing and all of that stuff, but we no, don't actually we see so anything except some holes in the ground, yeah. which have taken a long time, but. 
Um, we'll to get them I right. I think that once we see the containers here, it's going to be really, really cool. Yeah. And that should be in about, so concrete next week, uh, maybe going right into the beginning of the following week. Then that week is hopefully the week that we'll be looking at containers. So by the end of March or maybe very early April, uh, containers will be on the ground here, hopefully being placed onto the containers. Um, and so it gets a, the concrete a couple weeks to cure and uh, yeah, everything should be, be ready to go. We get a welder out and then we get, I'm getting way of myself. Yeah. 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 We'll, so we'll many save things. that for another time. Yeah. We um, just do so much. It's going to be like yeah. all at the same time at that point because we can have the electrician out. We can have the septic come out. Like again, same time. Uh, plumber, all of it. So uh, mm -hmm. obviously not the roofer yet. We have to actually dry in the house first. So, or semi dry in the house. That's it. Yeah, so but. you guys uh, enjoy the video and we'll see you afterwards. Yep. Hey. We are currently at Lowe's. It's, it's right over there. Proof. <laughs> and so we're uh, we're finally moving forward a little bit quicker. So we're getting the benchmarking items. And so what that is basically to make sure everything is level with the house before we start pouring the concrete. I'm going through some allergies right now. So, so yeah, we're uh, getting all the benchmarking stuff and then later today, uh, we're going to be setting up all the benchmarks and then hopefully later this week we can start pouring concrete depending on the weather. But I think it's supposed to clear up by the like later this week. Right now it's Monday. Hopefully by like Thursday or Friday we can start pouring. Uh, so we're going to get one of those things that spins and mixes it for us partially and then throw ourselves at it I guess. Benchmarking and concrete. Who are we meeting here? Eric. So it's a business partner of mine. He's actually helping us with this whole process. He uh, helped with the plans already. Uh, he's I don't know, my little support team, I guess. Yeah. He's like your mentor. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting mentored, getting <laughs> schooled. So, yeah, he's uh, going to pick up the stuff with me and show me what to buy. I'm also buying the, uh, hopefully, going to buy the, the tubes, sauna tubes. We're buying sauna tubes today. Uh, so that's the, the part that you're actually going to see coming up out of the ground. <laughs> so there's big square holes right now in the ground. You fill all that with concrete and cover the base of that with dirt, and then the sauna tube comes up. And so, with everything that we're doing right now, hopefully that's what we get out of it. <laughs> and then we can buy containers after that. It's getting exciting. Super exciting. How long do we have <laughs> left until baby comes? Plenty of time. Ten weeks. Okay, there's plenty of time. Yeah, it's literally foundation, containers, framing, and then right after that we can almost have it ready to move in. Because we're during the framing and container part, we're actually going to be doing the electric plumbing and septic all at the same time because we were waiting on loans and such. This is life, Blair. And we can choose light fixtures and all the fun stuff. And I'll hold off on painting until well, probably later, much later. All right, let's go do this. I don't want to break anything. Get in. I want to break it. Open the door. I'm not even getting one of these. That's cool. Slides. The handle's broken. Oh, that's cool. My section right Your section. What? Why? Does it slam and it has a light? Why? You know, go in the dark. <laughs> and this is for the benchmarking. Yeah, and we have one of the carts right there, so I can just go steal one of those. You do like little corners on, on each side. Four corners for each container, and you have two containers, eight sides. Five foot six here, five foot one, four foot three, four foot four and three quarters, and five foot six. Hmm. So, so that's the lowest point down on that end. This is right here. Oh, this one is. Yeah. Wait, so what are what are these for? This is we're going to build basically batter boards off of this to set the elevation of the foundation. That way, oh, okay. When he does what he's doing here, we'll not only be able to square it up from here. Mm -hmm. between these two string lines and be able to square you know, the forms. The tube. Yeah, the forms. for right now we're doing height the sauna tube. Okay. To get all that right. So... It's like but hard to gives, miss. They're it, hard not to miss. Yeah. Oh, it's old. <laughs> They're hard not to miss. Yeah. Oh, it's old. <laughs>
Are you oh, sure? yeah. Are you sure that's a problem? Yeah. <laughs> Here, I can actually do it with that other one. Yeah. Yeah. That's all that matters. Of course. Yeah. Of course. That. So, those are gonna be back this way. I'll kind of two of those. Get those in a little bit. Are they at an angle? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Make sure that they're semi square and, and uh, that'll keep it from rolling that way. You've got it rolling the other way, then you should be pretty good. You're not gonna nail the cross one. You're just gonna nail this up so you can plumb these up with your level and getting this plumb to okay. where that mark is right there. Then you're gonna tack your, you know, you tack your brace down here first. Yeah. And that way, when you get it plumbed, you finish the nailing here, or you can screw or do whatever you want. Gotcha. And then we'll end up leveling once we do the serve, the transit. And so it's basically just these. That, six. that, and, and then, then and we'll and then get yourself a cross one here, cross brace. And that one just goes on the inside, mm -hmm. like just one screw each or something like that. Now see, that one feels like it's good. No, that one feels pretty good. Yeah, that one's... <laughs> Surprisingly, that's... Having trouble getting down there? That's the yeah. smallest hole. Yeah. Yeah, we had trouble with that hole. That's and a good sign. The other side, that one. <laughs> yeah. The easiest one was the very far corner, which I'm worried about. I'm going to go probably another foot on that one. Just go down until it's like this, nice and hard. Bouncing out of there, you know you're you're deep enough. You're hard. You're in a solid All right, foundation. All right, so my reference hole then. <laughs> kind of close, I guess. Maybe maybe some. Using an axe. <laughs> Shouldn't you be using a sledgehammer? I already broke one. <laughs> and if you use your toe hitch yep. like this, you can actually bend your 90 bars yourself. Huh. Make your mats that we talked about. Yeah, we, we briefly talked about. Yeah. But we'll need to do it's basically the same size as these, right? Yeah. Well yeah, these are these we cut these at the right size for here. Gotcha. So you're gonna okay. make your mat with those. Yeah, it should be four five. Four. Oh, you said maybe the one yeah, in the middle. Yeah, you can add one if you it. want to, but okay. basically you're gonna make a mat. Make your four, and we can let's mock one up. Let's grab a little yeah. bit. We'll mock one up so you can do it. Okay, well, I'll just work. Like this. Take your little deal and just twist. And of course, you know, you'll get better as you do it. Yeah, don't twist too far because it'll just break off. But you twist it so it's pretty snug. Bend it over. There's one. Create this mat. Mat. Yeah. <laughs> Should this be a bubble? Probably be the first open. time you heard that one. <laughs> then spin it. Just lift up. Uh, let's see. Yep, won't take but a few. Keep going. Your hole's here. You're gonna put your mat in. We're gonna pour the concrete up. You know, we're gonna put <laughs> some forks forks above or, or right below. That's so you're gonna hole. have you're gonna have this one here, one coming up over here, mm -hmm. and basically you could do four, but two's probably fine. You know, something like that. You don't want these into. You want to make sure that they're encased encased in concrete, otherwise yeah. it rusts. So if this may be too long, you may grind it off or whatever. Down. But you want, you know, you got a 12 inch sauna tube. We want this somewhere in between, you know, six, eight inches wide. You'll have two uprights here. Mm -hmm. And then basically we can tie some little bars on there if we wanted to, once we put the sauna tube on. And then that just ties all your concrete together. So, gotcha. so just two of these? Yep, yeah. one on each. How far away do you want them? I'd say, you know, you know you're know, you fine. I'd say you've got a 12 inch sauna tube, so go, yeah. you know, six inches apart. Cool. Yeah, bring them in so that they're at least, you know, within six inches. That way you're a couple inches from the edges of the sauna tube. And, and then do I just do one of these with that too? I mean, how do you keep them there? Yeah. yeah, basically you can do that or you can put a mat in there. You can do whatever. You can come up whatever is easiest. Well, that's it for today's video. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure and hit that thumbs up if you do enjoy the house updates. Uh, if y'all have any questions, leave them below. And do you have anything else to add? No, I think I've added enough. It's <laughs> a lot. It's yeah. a lot of information. It's a lot of little things yeah. in a small area. And so uh, everything else should be a little more broad, a little bit easier to follow along. So, um, And also more interesting just in general. Who cares about holes? I know. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah. But it's very important. It's yeah. literally the foundation of everything else. <laughs> yeah. It's taken yeah. him a long time. You guys haven't seen the work that he's been putting in. But 
Well, that field over there wasn't a field. That was all cactus. And so we've That's come from true. cactus all the way to getting ready to pour foundation. Cactus so. and, and overgrown just yeah, now there's stuff. Grass. Now it's grassy. There's never been grass there. Starting to be beautiful. So that's yeah. really cool to already see some of this progress and then that land back there that we've been showing y'all. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, y'all have a good day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. You, you, just, you, you guys have, have fun out there. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> I think she's gonna hold off, right? Yeah, she'll, she'll probably Don't wait. Don't you dare put that on me. What? I'm not gonna change the chill out. Can you do this for Blair? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't turn it around, so I'm a pull. Where are you going? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Brady, go. Just go. See you later. What are you barking at? Look at Buzz. <laughs> He's over it. <laughs>